Cheeseburger in paradise. Throw on some fries and a mint. Hey, cab guy, why'd you stop me? <laughs> cause. Cause why? <laughs> cause I'm hungry. I know. Cap guy's been almost three days without solid food. He's so sick of jello and broth. But y'all heard that yesterday. But today's the day. And look out anything between the VA and home. He probably will eat it. <laughs> well, anyway. I'm not that hungry right now. You're not? No. But your procedure, your procedure ain't till 1130. I know. I know. I'll be hungry by then. Well, hopefully everything goes okay. Well, thank you, JT. I appreciate it. We had a pretty good day yesterday and kept them cost of goods low and made some good money. So we're going to get into what we sold. Cap guy's going to get to the post office, get back here and get ready to go to his thing. And y'all stand by for the Cap Guy Show because this is the Cap Guy Show starring JT. That's me. And him, that's the cab guy. And we're going to get busy, let you see what we sold. If you like what you see, thumbs up, subscribe, and you know the drill. And uh, hopefully we can teach you something. If not, move on to the next channel. But come back to ours too. <laughs> anyway, let's get on what we sold. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Today's the day. I'm glad. Uh, I drank all that stuff last night, and I mixed it with Gatorade, so it wasn't that bad. But anyway, we'll get out of that. Um, ten sales yesterday. Cost of goods was under ten dollars, and the profit was really good. So, uh, let that be an example, and I'm going to show you what we sold, and you'll see why, and uh, some of the things we found, and. It's all about diversity, and it's all about keeping your cost of goods low, which equates to good profit. So here we go. Here we go. Set you up here. And uh, we'll start from the oldest to the newest. This one, I took a little while for them to pay me. I found this at the bins, and I actually picked it up. This is a uh, U.S. Air Force pilot bag for their helmets. And... Uh, as you can see here, Bag Flyer's helmet. It's got the military made by Unicor, which is a federal prison uh, where they, uh, if you doesn't know that, the uh, Unicor federal prisons make all kinds of things. Uh, each one makes different items. Some make uh, plastic for uh, office chairs. Uh, some make uh, uniforms, what they call BDUs. Um, some make tank parts, uh, but they keep the prisoners busy and... It's a federal situation, so in this case, they made these uniforms and these helmet bags. So um, I found it at the bins, and again, I was looking for something to put stuff in as I was moving around the bins, and I usually will grab, you know, any kind of Marshall's bag or anything else I see because they're all over the place. And uh, I grabbed this, and so I paid about a quarter for it based on weight. And again, it took him a little while to pay me. But uh, he finally did, and I sold it for twenty two forty nine plus shipping. And actually, uh, that's not even in my. Uh, oh well, here it is. Uh, Nineteen dollars is what I took in an offer. I'm sorry. Plus shipping, I got that in a flat rate, flat rate envelope, so it ended up cost me. I ended up making uh, nineteen thirty on it. Not bad for a quarter. The next one's an eighteen cent find at the bins. This is uh, Jordan. Jumpman uh, cap. It's a fitted cap. Kind of a, well, it's a flex fit. So, uh, nothing special. Just got the Jumpman on it. Had it for a little while. And um, I also sold this on an offer for $10 plus shipping. And I made $9.55 off that. $0.18 cents into $9.55. This one, uh, kind of funny. This is a Minolta lens cap for a 49 millimeter. Uh, I parted it out like old Kevin says at Commonwealth when in doubt parted out well I got a bunch of these lens caps and realized they're worth a little bit of money individually so I hadn't, didn't have any camera to fit it to so there it is 
and you see it. I got about a dime invested, got this in January with a bunch of other camera parts and other stuff at a, an estate sale and, uh, sold the cameras. I think I've got one left out of that lot and, uh, made seven, sold it for seven seventy plus shipping. And I made $6 and 90 cents on that lens cap. So 10 cents into 690 in this case. The next one is a Seattle Seahawks. This is retail arbitrage. Went to a place called Half of Half Stock here uh, in Oklahoma City, and uh, they had a bunch of they had about three jerseys: a Raiders, a Seahawks, and a I think the other one was a Bears. And none of them have names or numbers on the front, but right here it has Cortez Kennedy, nineteen ninety two, um, and these jerseys were uh, three dollars a piece, but they had you know like sixty dollar tags on them. So, hey, I'm going to grab those. Um, and some people want them so they can put whatever they want on them. But uh, had $3 invested, sold it for $28.99 plus shipping, and I made $23.35 off that jersey. So $3 into $23.35 profit. The next one is ink. I bought these just recently at Goodwill. Uh, I bought a bag of them for a little over $4, I think, like less than $5. And uh, it was 95, 94, 56, and I think 54. I've already sold the 54. These are the 56s. I'm already well in the profit. Um, there's two of them here. They're black. Sold them for 1950 with free shipping. And I made 1326 off those two. And I still have the 94s and 95s. And both of those are in the 30 range because there's more of them. Uh, I made nine or I made thirteen twenty six off this, so sixty six cents into thirteen twenty six profit. The next one is Goodwill Fine. It's a GameCube Italian Wars. Um, it's complete, and you can see my picture taken has definitely improved since I started using that uh, thing behind me, the the cube thing from Dollar General. Two oh two invested in this game. 3010 was what I sold it for plus shipping. I made 2515. That's 202 and a 2515 profit. The next one is a Ben Fine. I got a bunch of this kind of stuff. T Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Hello Kitty, their birthday cards, thank you cards. There's 10 in a pack. Uh, these may have came from some other retail store, but they were at the bin, so I picked them up and Lo and behold, they sold uh, 20 cents invested, $8 sold plus shipping. I made $7.75 off that 20 cents. The next is also a Ben Fine, and I just found these last week. These are Margaritaville. These are kind of a loafer, kind of a boat shoe, I guess you'd say. Uh, and there you go. They were in good shape for used shoes. They were $2.79, which is what adult shoes are at the bins here. Uh, sold them for $30 on a best offer. And uh, my profit is $14.55 because I did free shipping by mistake, but that's okay. $279 into $14.55 profit. I'll take it. The next one is a Stetson Ascot. Another Ben Fine, but this one has Stetson in it. There you go. So on this one, 18 cents into twelve dollars is which what I sold it for on a best offer. Eleven eighty five profit. So eighteen into eleven eighty five profit. And the last one, I showed you yesterday some of this stuff. This is the reason I say pick it up. This is the third lot that I've sold. I've still got a few left. I expect to make over two hundred dollars on this two dollar and two cent investment. I comp these at a quarter because I've got several lots. This is probably the best lot of all of them. It's uh, looks like six outfits. Um, and I'll show you a little bit better. These are Penny Bright from the 60s. And you can see I set each one up with shoes that matched. Yeah, I'm playing with doll clothes again. You heard that right. Yeah, he sure is. <laughs> yeah, but I'm taking it to the bank. 25 cents invested. $50 best offer, $44.90 profit. Hey, cost of goods. So yesterday on, on the day, I had 10 sales, 
And I think I'm waiting on one payment on a Ralph Lauren or no, a Nike hat. And um, that's it. So, uh, and then I've got a sale already this morning, but uh, 10 sales, $9.63, $215.29 in sales, and $176.56 in profit. $9.63 into $176.56 profit. Sales are sales, profit's good when profit's profit, and I'll take it all day long, every day. So, I wish they could all be like that, um, but keeping your cost of goods low, buying stuff cheap, selling it high, or, and, and as you heard also, a lot of offers, because when I see watchers, I'll send an offer, and I wouldn't say, but maybe 20% of the time it works, but it ain't gonna work if you don't do it, so. Definitely, uh, if you don't listen to me on anything else, listen to me on that. So, other than that, that's about it. I'm going to get out of here, go to the post office, get back, get ready to go. Or I'm already ready to go, but wished it was now so I could get done with this thing. But uh, it is what it is. I will talk to y'all tomorrow, as I always do. If you liked what you heard, thumbs up, share, view, like, subscribe, and uh, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified and the cap guy will talk to you tomorrow, as I always do. And I, as always, I appreciate everybody's comments, kind words. I'm not going to change the channel uh, name. I'm going to probably just add in there, doesn't, does other things besides caps. Maybe, maybe that'll work. I don't know. But uh, anyway, y'all have a great day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Cap guy out.